in another video, we talked about the ability to use eucalyptus and puppet to quickly and easily deploy a cloud. Let's just kind of walk through from a server perspective what that might look like. You might want to view the other video as well on Puppet. But essentially what we're going to have here is a server here, an existing server within the environment that will be the Puppet Master and have on that server the modules that are needed uh, called the Puppet Modules. Right, so you got to do a little bit of prep work to make this work. Right, you got to know kind of what the data is and you know what you want to put on the on the cloud, things of that nature. Right, simple stuff. That also have the eucalyptus uh, agent and things like that. But this becomes a very simple way to deploy. So let's say that this is an existing server in the environment, just a server in the environment and let's say that we go ahead and purchase a brand new server and we'll place that server over here and so now we want to this is assuming of course that a cloud operates on a single server which it doesn't but just just for illustration purposes so this is your new new server and so how do you deploy that cloud to get up and running onto that new server so it's a pretty easy step uh, the first step is that we have to load the network operating system. We have to load that on there. And then the second step that we have to do is we have to take from the Puppet Master here, kind of from here, right? We have to deploy out there uh, the agent, so the Puppet Agent. Okay? And then once we deploy the Puppet Agent, what happens is, you know, the operating system loads up, the Puppet Agent, everything comes back, it says, hey, I want you, I want you, sorry about that. So uh, it wants this module here, remember that song from uh, 70s or 80s. But anyways, so then it deploys this, grabs a hold of this, and then deploys out to our private cloud environment, our dedicated cloud, right? So it's, it's very simple, purely automated, everything happens. Now they say within an hour, two hours, whatever works. And then this guy deploys out, so we'll say, uh, you know, less than two hours. And then uh, this here uh, deploys out, and now we have a dedicated cloud. So let's go ahead and, and just review real quick what those steps were one more time. So the first thing is that we have to establish Puppet Master on a server and Puppet Modules. Remember, this is open source, right? So you can download this and play with this as much as you want. Very typical. Uh, this is found in a lot of OpenStack distributions. It's a very common product, Puppet. And you also see another product look for other um, videos on Chef as well. It'll help. So we're not going to go into that. But that's number one, first step. Second step here is to deploy the operating system. Third step is to deploy the Puppet Agent. Then the Puppet Agent here, right here, this right here, he goes back to the Puppet module, and the Puppet module then deploys out to create the fifth step, which is the development of the dedicated cloud. So I know that's kind of a mess on your screen, but hopefully uh, you got that. Remember the simple steps to deploy a new server into a cloud environment.